Jonathan Krauss joined now by Greg Bowles. He's the head of policy for Joby Aviation. You brought one of the more popular aircraft here today. Uh, tell us a little bit about the air taxi that you brought to Oshkosh. So what you're seeing is Joby's electric air taxi. Um, it's an all electric powered lift aircraft when we talk to the FAA. Uh, and this aircraft will be able to take off on land from helipads or from airports and provide rides to folks through an app, kind of like Uber in the air. Um, Uber's one of our partners, as is Delta in the United States. And we're here at the Toyota booth because Toyota is one of our manufacturers partners um, and so we are really excited about how we're getting through the final phases of FA certification uh, and uh, ready to bring these aircraft into the world for everybody. I know a lot of people are going to say, okay, no pilot on board. How does this all work? So there's a pilot on board. So we do a lot of our flight tests remotely. So you'll go out and watch flight tests happening remotely. Um, and then we put the pilot in uh, to fly on board uh, after we do some of the higher risk tests. Okay. And being in aviation my whole life, this is novel. This is a really cool path and a really cool way to do developmental flight. Um, but we're going to be using commercial pilots. That's who's flying it nowadays um, on a 135. So in the aviation world, it's stuff that fits our head really well. We're flying existing aviation infrastructure in the system using existing comms, existing air traffic. Um, and we all know, like here at Oshkosh, the sky is big and there's a lot of things we can do. And this is additive, like we're really excited to come into the sky. What are the uh, power systems? How does this fly? So what you're seeing is six electric motors uh, around the aircraft, and we make these motors ourselves. We make all the high power electronics, the batteries. We have an amazing team at Joby. We're really fortunate. Um, so these motors, uh, when the pilot commands up or down or left or right, uh, a fly-by-wire system commands those motors to either spool up or change the pitch of the propeller or tilt. And through those um, through those inceptions, we basically can take the, air, the aircraft up in the air onto the wing, fly very efficiently, and then come back down and land vertically. We can also land conventionally, like on a conventional runway, but you know the real trick here is like the vertical piece and getting through that transition, coming from thrust borne onto wing borne and back off. And electric lets you do this in really eloquent and powerful ways. So what kind of range are we looking at? What kind of length of trip would someone who is booking one of these take? So, you know, when you look at battery, you say, wow, originally actually people would say like, batteries are too heavy to fly. Um, and now we're in this era, we're industrializing batteries that you're seeing here. So we're serving aviation routes up to hundred miles. That doesn't mean that's the max range. That means including the reserve, including mitigations for failures and contingencies end of life. So that, that's a really exciting thing to be offering. Um, and the other thing that's cool is that we can start to do those trips that are annoying because of geom uh, geography or annoying because of uh, traffic and move you at costs of like an Uber Black uh, across these distances. So instead of an hour and a half in an Uber, uh, you know, this can be like a seven or eight minute flight. So where are we in terms of production and use? We just announced uh, last week that we're doubling production in California, where, where our initial manufacturing plant is. Um, so we're going from a rate of 12 a year at the moment, and we're turning the dial right now to 24 a year at that facility. That's the very first production facility that the FAA is going through the quality system and giving us production certifi certification there. We're also then expanding into Ohio. We've announced that we're going to go into Dayton, Ohio and start manufacturing there as well. Eventually, we're hopeful that that plant will produce up to 500 a year. And so um, really excited to be at this phase um, when you kind of think through from concept to early days of first test flights. Now we have over 40,000 miles flown through across uh, currently six aircraft flying um, and into this final phase of like commercialization. Just before we talked, you had Secretary of Transportation Sean Duffy here, a Wisconsin native. He seems to be all on board here on this uh, kind of technology. Yeah, we are very fortunate to have a leader like Secretary Duffy. Um, he has, um, uh, you know, I think early in, in his his tenure as secretary uh, really had to take on some serious challenges um, and looking at modernizing this air transportation system and at the same time to make sure that the skies are big enough for everything at Oshkosh and what we're going to bring to the market. Um, that is a very thoughtful and important approach. Uh, and man, we couldn't be luckier to kind of be living in this age of aviation together. Greg, I appreciate it and look forward to my first air taxi ride. I can't wait. Uh, we will absolutely do that soon. Thank you.